Hey everybody, welcome to the Oregon coast. I got some proof for you though that it's not always cloudy and gray and cool and drizzly. It's been beautiful around here so far this summer and we've really been enjoying our time off the boat. Just love this stretch of coast. A couple of my favorite movies were filmed here. And if you recognize the theme music, of course, that's the Goonies. The Goonies, and also Point Break. No! No! I told them. You go quietly! I think it was a year and a half ago that we did the converting a bear boat to a cruising boat. And we have continued to convert. <laughs> Spend more money. I know that's a big consideration for folks getting ready to take off and go cruising. And so we've got to update some of the numbers from that initial video a year and a half ago. Yeah, because we have really dialed clarity into even more of a comfortable and safe cruising boat. Yeah, we're pretty happy with her now. Hopefully, aside from the standard maintenance, there isn't much more to spend. Let's get to the numbers. Money, 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 <laughs> money. Just for a little review, we bought a Leopard 4600 from the moorings for $254,000 and put just over 110,000 into her over the next six months to make her a safe home for us. We've got a good cost breakdown of that process on the channel and you'll find the link below and at the end of this video we need to do a bit of an update. First, let's talk about the vinyl wrap. We actually didn't pay $7,000. We made a deal with BoatWraps.com to do a promotional video. We had some gel coat work done in St. Martin and it didn't match very well. So we had this vinyl wrap put on this last winter and it's really held up nicely. It's quick and painless and it was a vast improvement. Our solar upgrade was a long time in the making. Now we did save some money by making our own custom frame, but we added a ton of new solar. Now we've got about 2400 watts, new charge controllers, and an inverter. Total cost, just about $4,000. We really wanted to get some better light air performance, so we added a code zero. For the sail and for the furler together, we spent $4,700. Now we're finding that we're motoring even less than before, and we can sail better in light airs close to the wind. When our old outboard crapped out, we took it as an opportunity to get a bigger motor. We went from a 15 horsepower to a 30 horsepower, and then when we got back to the States, we got rid of our crummy old dinghy and got a brand new one from Highfield. Together, it was a bit of dough. We spent $8,700 in total. We initially bought cheap paddle boards, but it was a really bad idea. The seams failed, they started leaking air within a year. So we upgraded to two Hala paddle boards. These are not PVC, but Hypalon, and they've got carbon fiber stiffeners that make them much more stable. A great value, we spent $2,500 on them together. There was a little bit of engineering that went into the new cushions. We got wider foam and wider backing material for the seats. I love Krypton fabric. We've had the Krypton fabric in the salon for Clarity for a year now and I can highly, highly recommend this fabric. It is so soft and velvety and cleans up really well with just soap and water. I went with a really light color because I wanted to brighten the room and make it look bigger. And I think it really did a great job. This new smaller coffee table is really versatile. We can have it down low and rest our legs or we can put it up and we can actually do some work on it. Look at all this storage. Normally, it's filled with all kinds of food. 
But right now it's cleaned out and it's easy to access and it's really close to the galley. Also under the set tees in the salon, we've got our charge controllers and our inverter for the electrical project that we talked about before. It's easy to access them in here. We can get to fuses if we need to and everything's very close to the main battery bus bar. We really didn't spend much on the galley or the rest of the salon, but we did make a couple of changes. First of all, we got rid of the microwave. We found that we just didn't use it very much. Also, there was a small television set on the back side of the electrical panel. We got rid of that one too. Mostly, we're just watching movies on our iPads and our laptops. But we've still got our theater set up with a projector that can run off the computers. We talked a little bit about the birth conversion in the master stateroom last time, but I wanted to give you another view of it. Not only did we completely redo the platform with custom molding, Megan also added some very nice custom shades. Overall, we've got a much larger berth. In fact, it's a king size. I don't know why we didn't think of this earlier, but we added shelves to the hanging closets. Total cost in this plywood couldn't have been more than about 60 or 70 bucks. With all of our solar power, why not run the air conditioners off the batteries? We added a soft start for about $300 to the main air conditioner in the main salon. Then we swapped out the larger air conditioning unit on the master stateroom side for a smaller one. This one's 3500 BTUs and draws a lot less power. We can run it most of the night off the batteries. Staying organized on any boat is a huge challenge. We took one of the four heads and turned it into a laundry and storage room. In the shower, we added shelving, where we keep paper towels, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and an extra freezer for meat. By the time we shot this video, I didn't have any more vegetables, but I keep root vegetables in here because they need to breathe. And I had a butternut squash in here that lasted six months. What are root vegetables? Root vegetables are anything like potatoes, onions, garlic. Oh wait, I get it. So they're in the ground? Yeah. <laughs> they're roots. Yeah. I just learned something. A washing machine you might think is a little overkill, but doing your laundry in a bucket gets a little old. Let me show you my sewing room. This is one of my favorite places to escape to on the boat. Sailrite machines are best for canvas work, upholstery, or even sewing through Dacron. Dacron is really heavy stuff and you need something really powerful like a Sailrite. But for the more delicate projects, <laughs> I like this little Anna. I got this used at the machine repair shop for 70 bucks. And I can sew any kind of clothing with this or headbands, things with a lighter touch. Okay, this is a serger, and this is really best for knit fabrics. Knit fabrics? Let me show you. What is a knit fabric? Okay, here's a knit fabric. See how stretchy this is? Oh. This machine isn't gonna do it very well. You see this stitch right here? This <laughs> allows the fabric to stretch. Ah, so. So it's got four reams of thread it cuts it as it sews and it gives you this nice finished edge that's going to give which is what you need with knit so you would call this a complete seamstress kit in here i would the best part about the sewing room is if we have guests i can put all the sewing machines under the bed put the mattress back on and you would never know it was a sewing room On the opposite side of the boat from Megan's sewing studio, I've got a studio of my own. This is in the port hole up forward. I've got a nice setup where I can do voiceover work, make music with the instrument, and I've got an elevated spot for my laptop. 
I've also got some nice shelving to keep things organized, which really helps. Like the rest of the closets, I put shelving in and that's helped me to get a little bit more organized. And behind the door, we've got our main stand-up pantry area. And the food's getting a little bit low. Fort of my studio used to be a little pilot berth. This is where we keep the code zero when we're not using it. We also added a new life raft from Revere. For a grand total of... This much. I don't know if that was pleasurable or painful to watch, but Clarity has really become the boat that we've always wanted. She's got a fantastic solar array. I feel like we've got the comfort styled in and she really feels like home. Yeah. Also nice and safe with the addition of the new dinghy, the new outboard, the new life raft. I really feel safe and secure on this boat. And I kind of miss her. I do too. We need to get back to the boat and get the season underway. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. And special thanks to our patrons. You are really making this happen. So thank you. Yeah. And everybody, thank you for your comments, your suggestions for videos. And don't forget, we've got a podcast <laughs> under the sheets with the O'Kellys. Till next time, take care. See ya. Bye.